Oil has a way of turning friends into enemies. The Dunster Force saga illustrates this perfectly. It was 1918, the last year of the Great War. Germany was eager for oil, only its liquid energy could power new weapons like submarines, planes, and tanks. Any instability in the oil-rich East would be an opportunity. This time, it was Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan. With Russia mired in civil war, Baku's oil was up for grabs. The new, Democratic Republic of Azerbaijan was a fragile entity, plagued by infighting between Armenians and Azeris. Whoever could move a strong enough force could control the production and transport of oil there. Germany scrounged up some troops to set up a Caucasus Expeditionary Force. Georgia promised logistical support. On June 18, 1918, German troops landed in Georgia. Germany's Ottoman allies were not too happy about this. The Ottoman Third Army was now advancing into Georgia. Near Tiflis, they defeated a joint German-Georgian force. This led to a direct threat from the Kaiser. The Ottoman Turks relented. They were losing the Levant to British and Arab forces, and needed the alliance with Germany. But oil was still too precious. The Ottomans supported an Islamic army of Turks and Azeris, which pushed forward towards Baku. Baku's oil was attracting another major player, the British. Under the command of Major General Dunsterville, the British assembled a force of elite troops. This Dunster force was made up of British, Canadian, Australians, New Zealanders, Assyrians, Persians, Armenians, and Tsarist Russians. The Dunster force beat the Germans and Ottomans to Baku. It backed a coup by Russian Cossacks who established Central Caspian dictatorship. Still, it was fighting on too many fronts and never had enough troops to face the Ottomans' Islamic army. The Russians were also on their way back. The Bolsheviks had a tacit alliance with Germany. In exchange for funds, they agreed to provide it a share of Baku's oil, once they were back in charge. Bolshevik forces briefly supported the Dunster force against the Ottoman Islamic army. Soviet Russia even briefly re-entered the war to support the British in Baku. Still, the Turks and Azeris forces were too numerous. The Islamic army took Baku in August 1918, and the Democratic Republic of Azerbaijan returned. The Democratic Republic of Azerbaijan would last until 1920, when it fell to the Soviet Red Army. It was all for oil. The Great War had demonstrated its power. Its power turned allies into rivals, friend into enemies. Thank you for your two minutes. For a deeper dive, you can find George's book, Planet A, on Amazon. See you in the next one.